everybody. Y'all can say hi. Hello, guys. Hi. Hello. Today we're hi. going our first episode of Who is m the Most Insane of These Three Opponents. Alright, I will explain the rules. Basically, we're not going to be swearing because, yeah. Um, if y'all swear, I don't really care, but I don't know. But, uh, okay, <laughs> I can do that. Um, we will get episode 7. Episode 9. <laughs> episode 9? Alright. I don't know why I, should, I don't know why it's an episode 7. Alright, so imagine yourself at like a party. It doesn't really have to be, it can be any kind of party. And someone decides to leave and ends up getting locked up in the attic. Um, and then a huge storm comes, and you have to. And what what would you what would you try and do if your friend was locked up in the attic during a huge hurricane? I would definitely find the person who locked them up and get the keys and get him out of there before the storm hits. All right, Alter. What's your idea? Well, I would just burn down the house and then make sure to block all the exits of the attic and make sure to board up every single one, shut and tight. Does so that way my friend could just die? Oh, that was incredibly violent. But all right, Henry. What's your idea? Um. Uh. I'd, I'd probably be panicking the fuck out, so I probably, that would probably cross my mind completely. I probably would not even try saving them. <laughs> you wouldn't even try. I'd just the fucking house. I'm, I'd, I'd just flee the house. I'm not, I'm not staying there. <laughs> well, Henry chose to evacuate, leaving your friend inside. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, I'm not staying in that house. Violent. Yeah, that was. No, no, like, no, not, really not violent. I just became, I just became primitive, Jake. Oh. You mean Maya? Yes. Wild. Okay. And some Jake at the same time for some reason. We're gonna Be quiet. Let Sam speak. All right, we're gonna make a vote, and no, we cannot. I mean, we cannot choose ourselves, you know, yourselves or whatever. Um, we're gonna yeah. take a vote on who did the most insane. <laughs> Henry, what, okay, what, what's your vote? Okay. <laughs> okay. He's the one walking, like, <laughs> Zilla didn't even do anything. He tried saving his friend. Cause I, that, I, wouldn't think, I wouldn't think that's insane. What? Um, what's the question again? Um, we're, ta we're making a vote on who did the most insane. Oh, who's the most insane? But I'm gonna, like, for this one, I'm pretty sure Alter. <laughs> Alter decides to say he's gonna burn down the house and everything. You probably wouldn't even be able to burn down the house if there's a huge hurricane coming. You're spending your entire time just there, making sure that one friend dies. You'd probably be dead by the time the hurricane hits. Uh, no, because, because logic. Oh. Logic does not exist. But yeah, well, uh, for me, still logic. Assassin, what is your? Uh, well, for me, if I'm gonna be violent, I will literally plant a C4 inside inside the house, and then blow it up where everybody is outside. Oh. And then when everybody is outside of the hurricane of the storm, I will literally just blow it up. Well, that cover. was a huge improvement. <laughs> okay, but my question is, how are you gonna blow it up? How do you have the time to get a bomb to blow it up? Okay, well, you gotta you, make sure y'all don't have to make it too descriptive. Well, well okay, guys, guys, guys. All right, so um, we need to make our votes. Okay, so Henry, is your vote still out there? Yeah, I guess none of them, none of those really make sense, but it doesn't really have to make sense. It's just an idea. Like, Alter literally decided he was gonna, like, burn down, lock on the doors and everything just to, to see his friend die, so. I think Alter won this one. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't really think burning the house down might be a good idea. You might even <laughs> end up killing yourself. Yeah, that is kind of a good point. Alright. Um, now let me think of another scenario. Sorry. 
All right. Uh, all right. Scenario number two. I'm just making this up from my mind, so this probably is gonna sound really random. Imagine you're outside one day, just taking a stroll along. This actually did happen once to me. It was weird. Um, so we were just walking by, and like, imagine you see this lady on her phone, and she's not paying attention to where she's going, and she's she crosses along a train track and stops in the middle of it, and a train is coming. What are you gonna do? Just risk my life for her life. Well, push her out of the track of the train, and then punch that train out of nowhere. All right. Uh, Alter, what's your idea? Build two, bar build like a long barrier along the goddamn. Oh uh, no, two build two long barriers so that way she can't escape, and then just basically tie her up and then let the train hit her. And if there's another one coming, I would push her to the next track and then wait for the other train to just run her over. Oh. Just imagine if it's a high speed train. What are you gonna do about it? Just watch her die, I guess. Immediately just get off the track. And then just watch. And then probably record it with all my phone. Yeah, that's gonna be a risky, a risky thing. Yeah, alright, Henry, what's your idea? Well, my idea, I probably, again, I probably wouldn't do anything. I probably just let the train hit her. Nothing too crazy. I just wouldn't do anything. So let the train do the job. Maybe kill her before the train can kill her. No, double kill or something. Double kill. Might as well rail it in. Yeah, might as well trip the train over while I'm doing it. All right. <clears throat> Guess let's take a vote again. Uh, who wants to vote first? Well, I mean, Zilla just tried saving that exact person again. <laughs> what? It's not much of a problem. We don't. The goal in this game. The goal in this game is to make sure that you make it like the most insane you could possibly think of. No, I was more thinking you could like you would ask questions like certain questions and then we would have to answer it and not this it's a scenario basically that you're just scenarios yeah but i don't have any ideas for questions so that's why i'm not that good at that yeah okay uh henry what's your vote well zilla just tried saving that zilla tried saving them so it's gonna have to be alter again um, alright, <laughs> Zilla, what's, what's gonna be your vote? Well, I think I'll go for Alter thing. Yeah, because Alter decided to just, it would do everything in his power to see that person die. Yes! <clears throat> alright, <laughs> Alter, uh, yeah, I think we ought to just have it down. Yay, I suck at this game! <laughs> 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 Says the one winning right now. All right. What are you talking about? Okay, next question. Well, hold on. Mm, I gotta think of a scenario once again. Scenario number three. All right. So this is probably just this is just a very imaginative one. Like I said, you just think of something insane. It has to. Be, you just kind of make the most insane thing you could possibly do. So imagine you're just doing paranormal stuff with like a friend or a few friends, and like you decide to make a deal with a devil when you summon them for some unknown reason. And they either say, um, I will kill one of your friends and to give you, like, um, money or something, or you can just, like, or you can die and, uh, world hunger one. It's a very stupid choice, but, you know. So, basically, if you, if you kill your friend, uh... Everyone will be in good health, but if you die, then, um, yeah, the same thing. But, like, if you, basically, okay, I'm not that good at coming up with scenarios. Um, so, just a short definition of it, would you rather sacrifice yourself or your friends? I have no question yet, so someone should go first. 
Well, I can go first. Um, I'm a really self-absorbed person, and <laughs> I I don't get attached to people too easily. So I might just kill my friend. I and I'm not I'm not risking okay. myself dying. I'm just gonna kill my friend. You know, I'm gonna deal with the devil. I'm not trying to go down or whatever. I'm just gonna kill my friend. All right, that's reasonable. Uh, alter. What's your idea? Okay. That's easy. Killing my friend to make sure if they committed any episode 9 scenarios, well, they are oh. uh, gonna be gone. Just straight up gone. Like, I would say yes. Yes to the entire thing. And get to take a picture with Satan. And then... And then become a devil. Oh. And then become evil. You already are a devil, so I don't know if you can be talking. That yeah, is I might point. go... I might go to the thing that Alter said. Might go for the friend. <laughs> just like an Alter said. <sighs> Alright, let me just find my pen again. Let's take a vote. <clears throat> Ooh. I'm trying to... Um, Who wants we to all just said the same thing. True. I'm, I'm trying to think. Yeah, but... I think I go for Henry's idea. Look at that, Henry got a vote. Okay. Um. Wow, I'm so good at this game. <laughs> All right. Okay, I've got okay, I got the one from Henry. Let's see what y'all can come up with. <clears throat> I'm ready for it. Scenario number All right. Four. It's midnight and you go to the kitchen to get a night snack. You look out the window, witness a murder being committed to the apartment on, on your left. The murder looks at you and starts pointing your hand up and down, up and down. Why? Yeah, that's it. I have actually seen this one before. <laughs> Alright, anyone got I can repeat it if y'all want me to. Yeah, I probably should. Alright. <clears throat> It's midnight and you go to the kitchen to get a night snack. You look out the window and witness a murder being committed to the apartment on your left. The murderer looks at you and starts pointing the hand up and down. Up and down. Why? So the murderer looks at you up and down? He's like pointing to the floors of the apartment and doing like something with it. Hmm, I would rather call the police for him. If it's going to murder, it's going after me. Like, like go to a quiet place so the murderer can't even get to your room. Or, or one solution, just lock up the room so the murderer can't even get inside. And hide somewhere in your bedroom and call 911. Okay, well, Arthur, what's your idea? If this happened to you. What? Are you not listening to anything? Alter. I'll take it out now. What? Did you not hear anything I just said? Am I going next? Did you even yes, hear what I said? Already... I just got confused for like, uh, like, uh, for like 20 seconds straight, alright? Alright. 
I would, I would run to my room. But wait, there's still more. I would run to my room, pull out a megaphone from my shelf, and then immediately open my window, and then just straight up cuss him out <laughs> because it would be funny. And then he's, sh and then he's stupid. Oh my. Dang. <laughs> You're gonna wake up all the apartment people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, at least I get. At least I would I just not stop cussing him out while oh, screaming sorry. at him. Or maybe my, or maybe my idea: go get a weapon, go after him, and just screaming at his face like, "Go, go, stop my sanity!" Like that. All right, I actually found like a lot of questions now. All right, but who should we? Yes, I would take, and I would take out all of the, the bottles and the guns. That I secretly stole from Drew, and then run right. out there and just straight up murder him like. Oh. You're a menace. Oh, and yeah. Okay, guys. <laughs> okay, guys. I think we know officially that I think I already have my vote in right now. <laughs> what is your? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so random. I like I like Zilla's idea of bet the best. I like talking gibberish. So that's a vote for Zilla. Yeah. All right. Uh. I don't think you said the answer to the uh, question. No, though. it doesn't. I, mean, I was trying to make like a, a, out of a scenario, and of what mm -hmm. they would do. So, yeah. in my opinion, I think Alter was the most insane there. Yeah, I mean he's always insane, so I'm not. I'm really not surprised. I'm not gonna be surprised if he wins, to be honest. He's most likely going to win. Yeah, yeah just like he has no, three. Like, Guys, he already has. Th he already has three points. Exactly. I don't think we're gonna. All right, I have. I have questions. I have questions, guys. I have ideas. Here's some questions. All right. Question number one, and remember, you have to like imagine something really insane and make something out of that. All right, if you were given the death penalty, what would your last meal be? What will be your what? <laughs> okay, if you were given the death penalty, what would your last meal be? Oh, uh, my last meal will be maybe I will go for. Uh... Oh, yes. An alive chicken is cooked alive. <laughs> we blood in it. Oh. What? He started up an eagle yeah. laugh. <laughs> Villain era. <laughs> oh, God. I'm going to pretend <laughs> that nobody just called me. What's your idea, Alter? What's your what will be your ma your last meal? Yeah, Alter. Yeah. This is just scaring me. He's thinking really hard right now. <laughs> Think smart, not hard. Well, well, okay. Since Alter is taking five years, I'll just say mine. Um, a human. No, I just put in the DM, but I will say a here. Human. It's either going to be Leo or Henry's body because I think I I'm now in love with cannibalism. What? Oh. You just stole my idea, you copier. No. I literally said it first. Do not interrupt. Okay, well, I feel like uh, I feel like Henry and I feel like Henry and Alter tied here. We both had something cannibal related, so. I guess I'll give you both a point. So Henry and Alter is human body is gonna eat while I'm just gonna eat a lot a chicken alive. Yeah. That's great. All right. It's nutritious. Now let's see how insane y'all can get. Guys, let's see how creatively insane y'all can get. What do you want to be etched on your tombstone? Oh. I didn't hear that. Body just cut. Just cut it out. Okay. Um, next year, tombstone. No, no that's not. That's that. not what I said. What do you want etched onto your soul? No, not the. Not what? T t Duh, I'm talking too fast. What do you want etched onto your tombstone? Like written on your tombstone. Oh, that. 
uh, let's just say, rest in peace, my name, the one, uh, the one who like to kill demons all in hell, and then be prepared when the invasion of hell comes in. Oh. That is a- alright. Great. I would- I would stare at that tombstone all day. Alright. Or better, the one who could kill every demon, even boss. Okay then. Uh, anyone else got an idea? Until you like, what do you want to be written on your tombstone, you guys? I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm trying to think. I'm thinking too. Let's see how I'm saying y'all can get it. Okay, mine is going to be a um, reminder that uh, dead bodies are actually good for the Earth's soil. Because it is. It is, but at the same time, it's kind of yeah. scary. I yeah. wonder what Alter's going to be. Okay. Dear Tombstone, that's carved onto it. I swear to God, if one of you start to cuss me out, I will literally show up to your house and then haunt it until you mm, forgive, until you apologize and go to my grave like and then you. make sure, and then make sure that you Why is he screaming? all those words back. Go out, man. Okay. I think, um, hmm. Should we... I don't know. It is cool. Alters, Alters was just really dramatic. Well, dramatic. Well, he like the, the fact he was kind of yelling at it was like, like the way yeah. he said it isn't already insane enough. He's always yeah. insane. That is a good point. Insane, but not insane enough for me. Yeah. Mm. Alter, what's your vote for who's? You can't vote yourself, by the way. Oh well, Alter just. What? I'm here. <laughs> um, I don't know. You have to uh, vote. Come out, man. Uh, does nobody I, know? Mine, yours, or Henry. You can vote myself. You can't vote yourself. You can't vote yourself? That's not fair. Alright. I wasn't even going to vote myself. I will go with... Um, Henry, I guess. Oh. Yeah. My dead body feels so true. Mm. I should have done a fact about uh, stuff like decomposing. That probably would have been better. Anyway. Zilla, what's your vote? Um, I go for Alter's ideas. Whoa! <laughs> Oh, I mean, you're just saying the most casual stuff ever, so I'm also gonna have to go with Alter. Yeah, I, mean, I guess that's another point for Alter. Alright, this one is where you actually really need to get creative. And this might actually see how insane you guys are. Alright, listen, listen to this question very carefully. If you were to commit a murder, how would you go about it? Oh, how, how would I commit a murder? Oh. I gotta pull out my, like, I gotta pull out a journal for this. I gotta write all of this down. Oh, God. Yeah, oh, and then make sure you share the ideas with me. No. <laughs> if you were I to... don't mind. Alright. Um... Well, for me, I would rather get, get a shotgun, a chainsaw, and just rip him apart using a chainsaw and blow his head off using the shotgun. And then hide hide the corpse and bury it underneath and put gasoline on it and burn the corpse. Oh my god. And see it to ash. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. That was actually genuinely insane. <laughs> Alright. Who's next? Who's next, guys? I'm currently planning out mine. Uh, strategically, so. Alter, what's your idea? Okay. Alright, it's gonna be 0 to 100 real quick. Okay, so I would look, go to my kitchen, get a frying pan, and then 
get somebody, but then, no, wait, just wait. I would get all of the miniguns I stole from Drew again, and then shoot them, shoot them again, 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 and then literally take, um, oh run them over multiple times, um, drop them into a volcano, and make sure that all their ashes are gone. But then don't make do but then make sure that their grave isn't put. Otherwise, I will get a nuke and then make sure that it's that the tombstone is not there. I really have. Insane. But that's but there's one problem. How can you even go to a volcano if you don't know where the location is? He has his ways. Trust me. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Oh god, Henry's got a sink in Okay, I've said this before in like multiple chats, and it's not really that creative, but... Okay, so this is kind of a step-by-step -step process, so trust me. Alright. <laughs> so first what, you were, for, so first what you're gonna wanna do is stalk the person, you have to get as, gather as much blackmail information on them, you have to like manipulate their family, you have to become friends with them, you have to plan out like all of this, you have to become their best friend, you have to get all of their secrets, and then you have to kidnap them. Um, I suggest putting them in, like, maybe your shed, maybe your garage, either can work, and then what you're gonna want to do is kill them. There's no specific way to kill them, you can just, like, kill them, like, hanging them or something, but just any other kill works, as long as you, as long as you know how to clean up the blood, which hydrogen peroxide takes off blood, so I suggest using hydrogen peroxide. And then what you're gonna wanna do, you're gonna wanna cut the body parts into smaller pieces. It's like, you have to cut off the arm, you have to cut off the legs, you have to cut off the head, you have to cut off all of that. You have to make sure they are not recognizable. And then what you're gonna wanna do, you're gonna want to buy um, stuff for plants, like a shovel, some seeds or something. And you're going to want to start digging holes over your yard. like. Because you're gonna you're gonna put all the body parts into those holes. So you're gonna have to you're gonna want to like plant them like everywhere around your yard to make sure they cannot find all of the body parts at once. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna cover the body again and you're gonna let the body decompose for a few days. And then you're gonna take the seeds that you bought when you first got the shovel, and you're going to find where you um you're gonna find where you hid all the body parts and you're going to plant the seeds over them. And there you go, you hit the evidence. Oh my gosh. So yep. I'm gonna oh, give you I'm gonna give you Mark. all a point, but I'm gonna give Henry two because I genuinely got scared from Henry. Yeah, and if um if you're worried about like the blood, well as I said, hydrogen peroxide takes off blood, but if you're more scared about the blood in the yard, you can just say, like, if you have a dog and your dog is like if your dog's like, um, like if they try to attack any an, an animal, animal you see, it's like on the concrete or something. You can just say that your dog like attacked a bunny or a bird or something. And it like bled onto the concrete. But if it's on the, um, if it's on the grass, water and blood, I'm pretty sure combine together. So you can just like water it down, and it'll go into the soil. Okay, I, yeah. think, I think we, I think we know enough, Henry. <laughs> Okay, I gave Henry two points, and I gave everybody else, like, one point, because I gave you all pretty much. Tasty blood. Because, yeah, y'all are scary. Um, alright, second, uh, okay, another question. If you were forced to kill your mother or your father, which one would you choose? Oh, that's a tough one. Yeah. Um... Anyone want to go first? Me! <laughs> Father, where are you? I'm coming to kill you! I will go every <laughs> single route to kill you! I will get all the miniguns! Get Henry's knife! Get Henry's giant bowl of lettuce! Make sure that he will die in a most painful death ever! Oh my god! Yikes! Okay. Uh, okay, I think I'll just go. If I was forced to kill one of my parents, it could be my dad. I would and also not regret killing my dad. Yeah, but not not the idea from you, but it's a different idea from me. I'd rather kill it. I'd rather use, use many of the shotgun shells all over his body. <laughs> 
and just well get you know, buy some gasoline just burn just pour it over in it and just burn burn it down and just watch the gasoline explode and then the whole body parts just spread around everywhere oh. and then what you're gonna do about the body parts well just bury them underground and never let them see it again okay Henry, do you have any idea? Uh, I'm thinking, um, well, I know who I'm going to kill. My mom does a lot, so I don't think I would have the guts to kill her, so it might have to be my dad. I love all my parents. Like, if my sister sees this, I swear to God, I'm not about to kill my parents. <laughs> but, um, I probably have to kill my dad. I know how to handle a knife somewhat, so, and I also probably have like a rope somewhere in my house that I could use to make it seem like it was a framed suicide so I don't get in trouble for it mm. but uh I there's this yeah and like uh bags could help a lot for suffocating so I could probably use a bag to help suffocate him but yeah I love my I love my parents so much and I just wouldn't have the guts to kill them in the first place Okay, since I still got scared by all that, I'm giving you all another point. Woo! We all got points. Yeah, because y'all are actually scaring me right now. Okay, uh... Here's a, just a very short question. Do you like the taste of blood? Yes. Yes. No, no, I do not. The iron is too much for me. Which uh, I, know that, I know that feeling, though. I know that feeling. Yeah. Alter really seems to enjoy Alter, it. Yeah, Alter is a vampire. Why wouldn't he be? Oh, yeah, fair I point. I would bite all of your necks. Oh. Do not touch me. You bit my neck enough. Well, oh! Me. I'm just... Well, not me. Because I'm I just... I just... Please. Sam, please, next question. I'm going to find Guys. Please do the next question. Okay, 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 okay. Everyone's neck. Calm down. Let him speak. Stop. Let him speak. Okay. Would you rather bleed out or be set on fire? What? Would you rather bleed out or be set on fire? Set on fire. Why? Well, if I like, if I wanna, if I, if the, no, 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 no. If my, uh, I, I don't have the words to speak. I don't have the words to speak. You ran if I was the victim of, if, if I'm the victim of the one killed me, he would rather set me on fire and just watch me scream, scream in pain. And yes, I'd rather get myself on fire. Okay, fair reasoning. Also, do you have any reason why you want to be set on fire? Well, I have no reason at all. But oh, if so. they want to kill me in the most, in the most brutified and violating way, they'll be setting on fire. Okay. Anyone else got an answer? I think I do. All right. I. Just I think bleeding out, you might have a high, you might have a higher chance of survival than being set on fire. Fair point. But it would also be, I think, it'd be a bit more painful because I'm pretty sure, depending on how bad the wound is, you'd be on, you'd be living on for a little longer. So you'd, you're gonna have to endure the pain. And while on fire, you're probably gonna die quicker. Yeah. So if you're bleeding out, and the wound is like really big, then you're probably going to pass out faster. But if it's like a stab wound, it's you're most likely gonna stay there for a bit until you genuinely pass out. Fair point. So, Alter, do you have any idea? Me. What? I was saying, I say Alter. Alter. Okay. I would bleed. I would choose bleed out so that way I can lick my own blood and then. Oh God. Know, if I have time, I would get I would get a megaphone from my shelf again, and then 
this just literally scream out, Yes, I'm gonna die! Well, I mean, if you're bleeding out, I don't think you're gonna have the, uh, oh, ability. Pass out. Yeah, you're not gonna have, you're, if you're bleeding out, you're not gonna be able to stand up and go get something. You're probably not gonna be able to crawl. It's all there. <laughs> what um, do you expect? <laughs> it's all there, of course. Licks my own blood. All right. Don't talk to me. All right. Uh, who do you think was the I most insane? Shut up. Well, Sam. Really All right. Let's vote. Really you don't. Don't worry. You're playing your best. It's fine. Yeah. All no one cares. <laughs> Dude, be careful. Like, chill out, man. All right. All right. Let's make, let's make a vote. Who do you think is the most insane? But. Like, who is the most insane here? Just, well, I mean, it depends. Yeah, fair point. Well, because Walter had a lot of stuff in general, but I think Zilla is definitely off the chart on this one. Fair point. Uh oh. Because he chose to be so on fire. Zilla, Zilla, that's a good thing. I don't think you would want to win this. Uh, yeah, I think, I think I'm going to say Zilla too, because, oh, like. Yeah. Being set on fire. I mean, it, I mean, you have to think insanely if you want, if you want to get a point, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, okay, Zilla got a point here. All right. Let me see. Oh, this is a very interesting question. If you okay, if you are trapped on an island with your friend, would you rather resort to cannibalism or die of starvation? Resort to cannibalism. Cannibalism. I get to eat their blood and their flesh. What is cannibalism, though? Cannibalism is where you eat a human. Oh, I see. I see. So. Well, I would rather. If I were gonna be thinking insane, I would rather eat a lot. Eat eat live animals instead of cooking them. Well, like getting a fish like getting a fish in the ocean and then just eat it alive. Then you're just insane eating I won't eating. be honest, that is actually kind of insane. Yeah. Well, I'm pretty sure humans have uh vitamin deficiencies. So I know, I know gaining more. So that's a plus on kind of them. All right. Why did you choose cannibalism? You love cannibalism. Why did you choose cannibalism, Henry and Alter? Vitamin deficiency. And plus, that if you think about it logically, that person will forever be with me because I ate them. Now they'll forever be with me. Oh. All right. Uh, Alter, what's your? Why do you want to? Why? Why would you do cannibalism? I need their blood. Mm -hmm. I need to make sure they're with me. So that way, I will make sure I will savor their last pieces of flesh and blood. Oh. And make sure that once I get off that island, I will make sure to find any live animal or my friends. So that way I can eat them. And savor their last flesh and body. Wild. Yeah, uh... Very bloody and gory. You sound stupid. You <laughs> so mean, Henry. <laughs> you shouldn't be used to this at this point. You've known me for like two months. I know. No, I'm saying. It looks funny how random that was. I mean, you can't tell me he didn't because he did. Um. Anyway. This is perfectly normal. Altar goes into primitive Jake for like, um, like probably thirty seconds, and then Henry just you know, just comes out of nowhere with that line. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I don't think primitive. But I think primitive Jake will just kill him off. He's he's very violent though. Very, and I mean violent. I mean very, very, very violent. Yay! We love violence. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes. And cannibalism. He'll just rip your head off. Alright. Here, uh, here will be our uh, final question. 
Well, actually, wow. actually, two final questions because these two are kind of yeah. All right, this is the second to last question. Do you think death by drowning or death by electrocution would be more painful? Death by electrocution. Just but just imagine this: like you're stuck on the water, and then the electricity just 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 fall off and then the power is still on and then you get electrocuted by water how would you feel that much pain mm. you will definitely be killed off by that and then your body will just drown there for the rest of the of the time okay anyone else have an opinion electrocution all right I feel like drowning. Yeah, I was about to say this like same thing. I feel like drowning actually kind of would be a bit more painful. I mean, like, it's a slow death. There, like, it's a slow death. Yeah, it's a very slow death because you're just sitting there losing oxygen. In electrocution, you probably dead. Also, you can survive yeah, electrocution. You can survive electrocution. You can survive electrocution sometimes. You can also survive drowning depending yeah. on who's around. True. But... Uh, drowning, but when the electricity falls off when there's an earthquake. You could die of electricity. That is true. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah, like, I've seen them in movies before. I've seen them in movies. Well, movies aren't always realistic. <laughs> like this, like bro, the CGI are just so perfect, man. Yeah. yeah. I don't uh, watch the movies, CGI so is on another me. level. All right. Last question. They should create a new next generation of CGI if they wanted to. Listen. Yeah. Last question, guys. All right. This is where you actually do have to like think creative again. Oh God. Would you rather murder three innocent children or watch three of your loved ones die right in front of you? Innocent children. Oh. Innocent children. Why? I'm gonna be like William Ashton. Of course you. Okay. <laughs> uh, I would. Well, because I don't know the innocent children. It's just three children. I. It's not that big of a deal. I don't know them. I won't feel sympathy for them because I don't know them. Meanwhile, yes, loved ones, I know them and I know them personally. So, of course, I'm going to care for them more than I care for three children I've never met in my life. That is kind of true. If the children are being very naughty, you just need, if you don't know them, you're just going to kill them off in a, in a really brutal way. Like, for example, you just need, you activated a chainsaw and then the, the children get scared so easily. And when you approach them when, while the chainsaw is still active, they're just gonna end up running away. And when they run away, you go after them in a really, really fast speed because the children are so slow and then you kill them off and the chainsaw just splatters yeah. your insides and the blood goes everywhere in your face. And then you go to the other one, they're hiding in a trash bag and then you saw them and kill them while the chainsaw is still active. And then, Blood everywhere, and you can you and also you see the brain coming out of the head. Oh yeah, that might be very gory, really gory. And then when you yeah. see the next one hiding, hiding in the dumpster, you saw them and you put a goddamn grenade and then shove him up. I know, just close it up and boom, you just hear the explosion of the grenade and then you see all the blood splattered all over the dumpster, even oh. the junk of it. Oh. There. Uh, uh, That's right. everything I said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be honest, I'm kinda scared. Yeah. So, I don't know why you went into full description. But... The description is better. <laughs> that makes it more insane. Okay. Alter, what's your head? <laughs> I'm gonna kill innocent children. Of course you are. And you just... I'm playing this. Gonna... just came out and the fact that it just straight up went with it. Just like, oh, okay. He's gonna kill like, three innocent children. Yeah. We're all killing three innocent children. Alright, well, I'm going to say my opinion. I feel like Zilla definitely got this one. Zilla. Yeah, Zilla. <laughs> Alright, that was Thanks. the last question. Um, Alright, I'm going to say the points and... Okay. So, Zilla got four points. Henry got five points, and, uh, Alter got eight points. Because Alter is 
bad and I dislike him. <laughs> I'm not bad. Man, I should have voted Villa for all of them. Villa answered way better than you did. <laughs> all right, well. All right, guys, time to bite him. Well, guys, this is going to be the end of the game nom, for nom, episode... Nom, nom, nom. Oh. Let Sam speak. All right, this is going to be the end of episode one. And Alter, we will see you in the finale. Okay. Thank you, guys. <laughs> guys. <laughs> Thank you. I'm fucking the video. <laughs> because I won and he lost. Thank you, guys. Yeah, also, thank you guys general. for thank you guys for joining me today. You're welcome. Uh, yeah, this was pretty yeah, fun. Yeah. Yeah. Also, thanks for joining us, as as Zilla. Yeah, you're welcome. It's been a pleasure, <laughs> even though I've struggled to answer the questions. So you did good. You <laughs> still did good, bro. All right. Hey. Have a good day or night, everybody. Bye. 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 Hey, everyone.